line getting set up. It's a first down play. And on the carry, he's heading left. Tackle made after just a short game. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage and not give up big run plays. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the single back takes the handoff. Breaks loose at the 40. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down at the 42. Good push up front and great acceleration by this back. I tell you, he's doing a pretty good impression right now of a combination of greats that they've had at Florida State. Guys like Warwick Dunn and Devontae Freeman and more recently with guys like Cam Akers and Dalvin Cook. The quarterback making some changes at the line. Looking to pass. It's Riangela like Short connection to the tight end here. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Any good offense has to have a reliable, quick to intermediate pass away. Even though that wasn't enough for the first down, it's plays like this that help you sustain drives and not get stuck with third down and long. There's the handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. It's third down for the offense. Movement at the second level of the defense now. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. Going for a big play downfield. Pass caught down at the 20. They bring him down, but that is a huge play for this passing game. Big game. In all of our prep work coming into this national championship, I really wondered how this secondary would hold up against this quarterback and this group of receivers. They better be ready to make some adjustments because right now, this quarterback is having his way with it. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. The Seminoles will try to keep this drive moving. Big throw caught on the left side. Four set of bounds after a nice game. The offense is knocking on the door with a first and goal. You talk about balance as a play caller. I don't know if it gets much better than what this offense is doing. Three runs, three passes, and all three passes have been completions. And now it's first and goal. The Knowles will line up here on first down and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. All right, it's second down and goal now for this offense. A run to the left, trying to find Pater. He'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. This defense is hanging tough, but they punch it in from the three on third and goal.
And now the offense will call a timeout. Some the coach didn't like about this. Crucial play coming up. This defense is making it tough. Ball still at the three. It's third and goal. He's got it near the end zone. And he scores. Touchdown, Seminoles. So a long, methodical scoring drive. Great execution with championship pressure, Kirk. Man, this is the biggest stage that you can play on. You're in the national championship, and drives like that are going to wear down the opponent physically and mentally. This wasn't an accident. They were very intentional on how they worked their way down the field, and it pays off in the end. BAT makes it 7-0. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So a touchback will start at the 25. will it be and the running back takes the handoff the gain is three yards of so second and seven see that's how you limit what an offense wants to do this time the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage not giving up any big plays everybody's gap sound it's really solid defense on that play what's the play call here on second down for this offense we go with a direct snap. And the run moves the ball up to the 33. Well, I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Critical third down play for this offense right here. To the air, it's Aller. And that will pick up the first down, a spot of 38. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Hey, I don't blame the defense here at all, Chris, for bringing the blitz. It's third down and short. You gotta get pressure on the quarterback, but you gotta tip your cap to this quarterback. I think he was anticipating the blitz, so he's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly and pick up the first down. And the Nittany Lions starting a new series here on first and 10. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Running back grabs it on a screen. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. I love early in a game like this where you get the running back involved. You just get his hands on the football. Also, nice, easy screen. Gets the quarterback settled into the game. Nice, easy throw. And look at this. It ends up being a huge play. The Nittany Lions are going to keep this drive moving. Takes the handoff, heads to the right. Defense will make the stop and it will probably be the final play of this opening court. Offense getting set for a second down here to begin the quarter. Now the play fake, he'll look to throw it. Cut quickly. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Clear. Clear. 
Dropping back. It's Aller. He makes the grab. He gains nine, so it's second and one. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Okay, Offense right. getting set up. Here's second down. The offense will take their first 10 out of the half to talk strategy here. Second down play coming up. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Nittany Lions pick up enough yards to get a fresh set of downs. They pick up a completion. It doesn't get big yards, but you know what? Enough for the first down. Let's move the sticks. Okay. First and ten now for the offense. Back to throw again. Running out of time in the pocket. Caught over the middle. It's Singleton. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Now the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Pass caught. Second down now. The offense bracing here for a heavy blitz. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. The sure hands, it's Singleton. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Looking to throw, it's Allen. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. And nobody open. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Third down out of the shotgun. Going the other way, can they stop him? Past the 50. He's past the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Florida State. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. And a pick six. A monster play by this defense here. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving him some reps as a returner after that touchdown. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. And he'll just take a knee. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. mistake last time a pick six looking for a gap here's singleton that's a nice tackle there by the senior with the defense coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity not giving this running back any creases at all really sound defense on that play getting set here's second down it's 
scanning the field. It's Aller looking to set up a screen pass here. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. That's a big first down for this offense, and it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get them going. And keep this in mind, Chris, because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. A new set of downs after that completion. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he's tackled right at the 40-yard line. That's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Handoff here from the shotgun. Breaking free at midfield. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Tackle is finally made, but it's down at the 28-yard line. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. Makes the grab. It's Allen. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. Whiteout's now clustered. Looking downfield, it's Allen. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush. It's a sack. Oh, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave your defensive backs out there on islands. But the good combination of good coverage with a good pressure on the quarterback, and you come up with sacks like this. are going to keep the pressure up on this third down. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. The sure hand, it's Singleton. He stopped short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Quarterback had a lot of time to evaluate this defense, and most of his reads downfield appear to be taken away, so he checks it down to his running back. How about the way this defense just runs to the football to keep him short of that first down? Great job of the deep. And the Nittany Lions will look to convert here on fourth down. He's throwing for it on fourth down. He's running out of time here. Complete with a running back on this fourth down play. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. Here's a first down, not wasting any time after that conversion on fourth. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Grab down the middle. It's Singleton. Touchdown, Penn State. This quarterback on fire today. Who says you need explosive plays, Kirk? That was a long, winding scoring drive. And think about this, this is a national championship. And you're able to execute like that against this quality of a defense. And that is a great job by the coordinator and the quarterback being in sync and putting together a heck of a drive. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. And it's fielded. We're sort of trying to make something happen. 
And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Start the drive looking for some late fireworks here, less than 30 seconds before halftime. Here's the throw deep downfield. And it's picked off. He throws it right in the double coverage and pays for it. Going the other way, can they catch him? Not just the pick, but a big return sets up the offense in good position. Chris, I think I can hear him calling out blocks after that pick. Or was it the defensive coordinator next door up here in the booth? Either way, they were looking to score after coming up with that interception. The offense, if they did anything right, it was keeping him out of the end zone. It's like one more play here before halftime. Direct snap to the back. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. So with only a few seconds left in the half, the field goal unit comes out of the field. The distance will be from 36 yards away. And that one's straight down the middle. And that field goal, the final play of this opening half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. And the Knowles will kick this away to begin the second half. Kick bounces out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. State offense comes back on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. Christina, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Allen. The receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle, but first down. The defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback recognizing that soft coverage and hits the routine track route underneath for a first down. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Off the play fake, looking to throw. He fires it. He's a wide open receiver, complete. That's a big game, finally brought down near the 37. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. The Nittany Lions will have first and 10 here. One back in the backfield, and he'll get the carry. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. Well, this guy's got some wiggle, and you can see there he's got some power. He's able to break through one arm tackle, but the secondary comes up to finish him off. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here we go. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. And they get him down after the completion. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. 
Drop him back. You're going to throw for the first down. And the running back has it on the screen now. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. And there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he could get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. They only converted once on fourth down this game. Let's see if they can make it two for two. Scanning the field, it's Aller. Fires it to the wide out. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the first down. Tackled right after the catch. The offense is now in the red zone. Boy, the defense is in the right coverage here. Looked like they had exactly what they wanted to be able to come up with a stop here on fourth down. But there's the timing between a quarterback and the receiver. They knew exactly where they needed to go. Great timing and a first down. And tackled after a small pickup there. trying to cash in here in the red zone. Defense bunching at the line, showing blitz. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Here's the second down play. Or oh, snap to the back. Seven yard gain sets up a third and three. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Coming up in the red zone, can he keep the drive going or would have to settle for three? Using his legs, it's Carpenter. And the Nittany Lions pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. drive continues. The offense just grinding away here. There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. They'll switch it up here. Looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Singleton. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. This is not how you draw it up as an offensive coordinator. You got a first down play, and you go backwards. Now you're behind the sticks, and that play just never seemed to have much of a chance at all. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. The D coordinator showing heavy blitz pre-snap. Caught near the goal line. Tackled after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. you. Take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. And now the defense will call a timeout here. There's something they didn't like about that look, and they'll make an adjustment for this important play. So here we go, third down. Defense needs to stop here, try to force a field goal attempt. Looking downfield, it's Aller. And it's intercepted. He stepped in front of that bullet. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Anytime you see a defense sit back in cover two, the quarterback knows he's looking for short to intermediate throws. He's going to have to put something on it. 
it's not just the guys that are covering deep. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of, so you drive that throw. Otherwise, you're going to see results like this, which are an interception. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He fights through a tackle. He's wrapped up nicely there by the freshman. Here we go, first play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. There's the snap, looking to throw the ball. That's reeled in, it's Benson. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. That's good timing there, receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're gonna run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line, because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route. And the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. And the runner brought down right at the 38 yard line. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Empty set now. Five wide receivers. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Back to pass. It's Wiangala lane. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. Breaks loose at the 40. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Knowles. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. Fielded in the end zone, it's Singleton. And he's brought down at the 12. That's poor field position to start the drive. takes the field. They had it going on the last drive, but it ended abruptly with the interception. Let's see what they can do here. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. They bring him down, but the back able to pick up some DC yardage in that screen. The Nittany Lions will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. It's a nice completion there, Chris. And this possession at this point in the game is critical for them. They've got to focus on putting points on the board right now to make this a one-possession game. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Let's see if the offense can move the chains with that incompletion. motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. They're going to throw for it on third and short. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. So down by multiple possessions here. The offense will try to convert here on fourth down. No, he didn't get there. Tackled short of the marker. That is... Rushing play as they try to cut in to this lead. Chris, I understand being down a couple scores, it's fourth down, you've got a good field position. Hey, let's keep this drive alive. I understand why you go for it. Unfortunately, not able to execute it. This could cost him the ball game. So not what the coach was hoping to hear. Took a chance with the timeout to get the replay. We'll see if burning that timeout is costly down the road. And 
And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with a lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And now the handoff. Breaking through defenders. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Well, how fitting for him to get another nice carry here because it's been that kind of game in the national title. We knew coming in that he was going to be showcased. I didn't think he would have this kind of performance on this big of a stage, but he has, and a big reason why they're going to win this national title. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense and they better defend this style of play moving forward. Trying to get to the end zone, they'll run it left. Touchdown, Seminoles. Still no answer for this offense. We well, had a short field. The offense did exactly what they're supposed to do. That would have been a big ask for the defense there, Kurt. Absolutely. But when you're given that kind of field position, anything less than a touchdown would be a disappointment. They did exactly what they needed to do by capitalizing on that short field. The golf team has come on the field now to send this one away. Bringing it out. It's Wallace. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. That last possession, they got stopped on fourth down in their own end. Let's see if they can get it going this time. That ball's incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that kick. Looking to throw. It's Aller. That's a fly out of the wide out. The junior quarterback fortunate to avoid the turnover there. That's an athletic play by the defensive back. Playing tight coverage, seeing the ball, and not giving the receiver a chance to get their hands on it. On third down, he drops to throw. He'll take a deep shot. He's picked for a third time tonight. Can he take it all the way? Past the 20. That's a pick and a long return before finally being taken down. Just a great job of anticipating that and coming up with a big interception by this defense. Because they have this lead, they've really forced this offense to become one-dimensional. They're expecting the ball to be into the air. The defensive backs have their eyes on the ball, and they're able to capitalize with a big pick here in the national title. And the Florida State offense hits back onto the field. They've really built momentum in this game. It's been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? It's good for a three-yard game, so second and seven. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least picked up some positive yards. Okay, ready? Second down play coming up for this offense. And they'll work the clock here by keeping it on the ground. He's got room looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Florida State. And this one is getting ugly. Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kirk. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. And they'll set up for the PAT. He 
PAT is good. They're pulling away 35-10. They get set to kick it away. And he'll leave the kickoff right there. He'll start from the 25. Now, wasn't alert enough, didn't get the playoff. That'll cost him five yards. And the delay of game penalty will push the offense back five. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. Dropping back, it's Aller. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Quick throw over the middle. And he finds a wide-open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And the ball to the ground. The defense recovers, trying to run this back now. Touchdown, Knowles. A fumble return for six. to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT is good as they continue to pull away even more. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. The Turner looking to make a play here. And he's going to bring it out. And the returner will be brought down. for this offense. And the quarterback just kneels down. So it's second down and long here from the 13. Ball is snapped, and the quarterback will just take a knee. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looks like the quarterback will just take a knee here. The offense has been pretty efficient. They've made two out of three fourth down tries so far. They'll try it again here. Dropping back. It's Aller. And here's a deep throw with the clock winding down. Can't connect downfield. Incomplete and a turnover on downs. Well, that'll do it, Chris. This defense has played well the entire game. It's very fitting here on this fourth down play in the fourth quarter. Under two minutes to go. They step up again. Give them the game ball. So the job is simple here. Just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. 
That's it. It's official. We have our national champions. What an emphatic statement to close out this national championship run. You know, the coach told his guys, go out there and leave no doubt. Same mission accomplished. Well, sometimes a team wins a national championship and they just got hot at the right time. I mean, there's other times when it's been clearly the best team in college football all year. To me, these guys have been right up there as the top team in college football, and it's very fitting that they not only win it, but they win it in grand fashion. Well, that's it. Dramatic punctuation to another outstanding season of college football. For Kirk Grove Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been a presentation of EA Sports College Football. Officially, your kings of the college football world and national champions, the Florida State Seminoles.